Hey, what is up my fish tank guys and girls? Today I'm gonna to be doing a brief unboxing video. This is a product that I have never tried before, but I'm very much so looking forward to putting it into my bio cube and seeing how it works. Uh, so after the intro, I'm going to be opening up an algae turf scrubber. Let's check it out. So if you guys have been following the channel, you may know that I've been dealing with some issues with my BioCube lately. Uh, I've been having outbreaks of green hair algae that I've been having a hard time getting rid of. And you know, as a result, I ended up removing some rocks from my system, moving things around, trying to do a deep clean. However, you know, I still wanted to look into the problem a little bit more and see if there's anything I can do to solve it. Now, I've been doing water changes once every two weeks and I seem to be keeping up with things, but I was wondering if there was another way that I could help ease this maintenance burden that I feel like I'm uh, dealing with on a weekly basis. I, I'm almost under pressure to keep up with that maintenance or else the tank is going to go downhill very quickly. So after doing some Googling um, and you know looking at other videos on YouTube, I stumbled across somebody who mentioned an algae turf scrubber. Now I've heard of algae turf scrubbers before, but in you know in my uh, thought process from the past, they were really expensive. I'm talking like four, or five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars, and. Um, so I started looking into it a little bit more and I found this company called Santa Monica Filtration. Now they actually have smaller algae turf scrubbers that work well for nano tanks and they are much more reasonable than four and five hundred dollars. Now I believe this unit, this is the drop dot six unit. Um, the reason it's dot six is because it's supposed to keep up with point six cubes of frozen food a day, I believe, I believe, or maybe it's half a cube. I don't know why it's called dot six, but anyway. Um, so the dot six, I believe is $130. Now it's still kind of a pricey item, but uh, compared to four and $500, it's much more reasonable. Now uh, I'm going to go into this very briefly in this video, and then I'm going to have a follow-up video showing you guys where I put this in my bio cube and then down the road if I have good results from using it. So first let's open it so you guys can see what it looks like and then I'll explain a little bit. I did cut the tape open before the video here. Okay, so you'll see I've got some nice green packaging things in here. We've got a we've got a full color instruction book. This is another one of their products. This is called the Rain Rain 2. I don't know if you can see that. That is a larger algae scrubber that's going to be used with like a sump or a larger tank that has higher um, higher nutrient levels. Um, it comes with a little syringe that says, use syringe if needed to put vinegar in the air tubing to dissolve lime carbonate buildup that blocks airflow, then flush out with water in your sink. That is something that I read that sometimes happens with these units. All right, let's get to the, oh boy. Okay, it's kind of like a, kind of like a party here. Let's see. I don't want to make a mess. Okay. All right, so the, the product itself is much smaller than the box. So let's try to get this back in. Oh boy, let's try to get this back in here. I don't know how big of a fan I am of the confetti, but maybe it's supposed to be like, hey, this is fun. This is a fun product. You're gonna have fun with this. All right. Okay, so let's, let's close this, and get this out of the way. All right, so just to, just a comparison here. Here's the box. And here is the unit, much smaller. Um, and part of this is like cords and things like that. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get this open itself. All right. Okay, we'll get this bag out of here. All right, so now we're getting a, a much better picture of the scrubber. Here's the size of the box. Here's the size of the scrubber itself. Okay, so it's much smaller, you can see. Pretty small. It's gonna fit in the rear chamber of the BioCube, at least I am hoping it will. Okay, so we'll put that box to the side. Now, um, 
Let's take a look at the booklet here that came with it. Okay, advertisements, basically. These are just uh, some of the other products that they offer. Okay, so there's a, there's a lot of information here. I'm not gonna read this all to you guys. It's a lot, which is good though. It's good, it's um, a nice manual here. It basically tells you everything you need to know about this unit. Um, okay, so uh, guys, essentially what this is, and the reason I'm really excited to try this, um, I don't know if it's gonna work the way I expect it to, but the reason that I'm really excited to try this is because after doing some um, you know, reading and watching some videos of other people who have used this, this seems like, like a miracle drug for reef tank aquariums. Um, I've even seen people mention that this is not pushed as a product because it will replace other products. Okay, so uh, I'm always looking for ways to lower the amount of maintenance that I do on my reef, reef aquarium. And then also, uh, I'm also looking for these things so I can tell them, uh, tell you guys about them so you can potentially make keeping your reef tank easier as well. Now, um, so essentially what this does, let's get this open here. Okay, so essentially what this does is this becomes a housing for nuisance algae in your aquarium. So as you guys know, I was having an issue with green hair algae and um, I was having a hard time getting rid of it. I was trying to manually remove it, all that stuff. I did a lot of water changes and it kind of went away. I used Flux RX that kind of got rid of it a little bit more. But the underlying issue is that I have uh, nutrient buildup in my aquarium. Now it could be because I'm not keeping up with maintenance. Lately I am, could be that. Could also be like old tank syndrome, which is basically your rocks, uh, your, live or, your live rock, your filtration kind of gets like filled up to the point where it can't really process those nutrients in the water you wait the way that you need them to. Uh, there could be a, there's a whole myriad of things that could be causing it. So essentially what an algae scrubber does is it encourages nuisance algae to grow in this housing, right? Rather than in your display tank that you want to keep nice and, and clean looking. And in doing so, the, the, the growth of that algae will suck the nutrients out of the water. So it's basically like you are doing nutrient removal the natural way, right? Algae is growing. Algae uh, is very efficient and effective at sucking up nitrates and phosphates and other things that you don't really want in your aquarium. That's why algae shows up in the first place because you kind of have a nutrient imbalance. Now, it sounds too good to be true. Some people say that they don't need to do water changes once they add a unit like this. I don't buy into that theory. So I'm not here thinking, okay, I'm gonna put this in and I'm never gonna have to touch my tank again. It's gonna look great and pristine. And I'm not of that mindset, but I am of the mindset that hopefully it helps to cut down on the nuisance algae in my aquarium and potentially helps to cut down on the number of water changes I have to do. I'm still gonna do water changes, but right now I'm doing them every two weeks. I could do them every one week, uh, every week, um, but maybe I could get it down to once a month. And if I could do that, that would be great, right? So uh, just so you guys know, essentially what this unit does is there is a red LED in here that um, obviously lights up and turns on. Uh, algae is uh, uh, attracted to red light. So that encourages algae growth even more. So there's a red LED in here. There is a rough surface in here. Algae needs a rough surface to attach to. And then there is also air tubing. So essentially you also have to have an air pump with this. It came separately. Like I, I had this air pump just kind of sitting around. You're gonna hook this up to here. Um, and the air bubbles will rise up over this surface where the red light is shining, you know, 12 to 18 hours a day. I'm not really sure I'm gonna have to dial that in. And that encourages algae growth in here. And then what they recommend is every two to three weeks, you pull this out of your tank, you open it up, you scrub it out, you rinse it out, you get all the gunk out of there, and then you drop it back in. Um, that's why it's called the drop.